Ah, well, I figured it was inevitable at some point. Based on the title of this video, you can probably figure out what's coming next. Normally, I try to avoid viral sensations, but this is a good cause. And uh, But even so, when my fiancé had uh, not had not nominated me uh, to do the Ice Bucket Challenge next. I thought I kinda, you know, dodged the bullet there. But lo and behold, a few days later, one of my uh, little nephews, one of my nephews from the Philippines, challenged me, uh, nominated me for the Ice Bucket Challenge. So, I can't say no to that. I mean, my nephew all the way, all the way from the Philippines, from the other side of the world, I have to do it. So, um, I figured that if I was going to do it, I had to do it properly, my way, um, with Pikachu, obviously, to, you know, give me some, give me some encouragement. I figured, you know, since water is weak against electricity, that, you know, it ha might help subside some of the, some of the cold waterness, although now that I think about it, ice is resistant to electricity, so probably should have thought that more through, but anyway, before I do this, um, I wanted to make sure I did my research to make sure I did this correctly, because apparently a lot of people out there on YouTube have not really been doing the Ice Bucket Challenge completely right, so just as a gentle reminder to you guys who might end up getting nominated soon, if you're going to do this, you're going to want to do this legit, so just... Three reminders. Number one, in order for it to actually be ice water, you need to let the ice sit in the water for a few minutes. Uh, otherwise, it's not actually the right temperature. So all the people who just dump the ice in and then immediately dump the water on top of them afterwards, apparently that's not really correct. So I gotta make sure that I do that right. Um, number two, make sure that you mention ALS. Again, this is for a good cause. This is the whole point that we're doing this for, uh, for ALS. And uh, it's important that people know that that is the main purpose of this whole thing. And then lastly, even if you do the bucket challenge, you still gotta donate. That's part of the rules, in case you didn't know. It's just, if you do the bucket challenge, you don't have to pay the full $100. So I'm still going to be donating, donating this, even though I am going through with it. <sighs> so I need to prepare myself, I need to make sure that I got all the equipment ready, to make sure that I am well prepared for what's to come. By the way, shout outs to my buddy Jonathan for uh, getting, this, uh, getting this for me about nine years ago. So Jonathan, thanks a lot for thinking ahead nine years for me to be able to finally use this and put this to good use. And last but not least, I should probably go through my nominations. I am going to nominate my buddy Selves Leader Carson. I am going to nominate my boy Lucky Jack 20. And last but not least, I, just for kicks and giggles, I will nominate my, my most recent YouTube pal, Riz Grestar. So, once again, I just wanted to thank Marcus Gracia for nominating me. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, let's do this! Mark? What? You can't wear the umbrella. Why not? Because you're getting it. my, my get up. Ice water dumped on you. You can't just dodge all of it. That's the whole point. I'll let That's you fine. keep the Pikachu. How about that? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping the Pikachu. <laughs> Sorry, Jonathan. All right, I'm ready. Maybe. Oh my god! Carson, Logan, and Dean, you guys have 24 hours. <laughs> Till next time, folks. Love yourselves and love each other. <laughs> okay, cut it out.